Hi everyone, it's Tatiana, back with another craft video. For today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a pop tab duct tape wallet. Now, this is going to be part one of this video in which I'm going to show you how to make a duct tape wallet. Now, if you have one, good for you. Wait until part two. But for now, for those of you that don't know how to make a pop tab wallet, I'm going to give you my version of it. It's going to look like this. Very simple, cute. So, without keeping you waiting any longer, let's get to it. I'm going to be using my Dalmatian wallet as a size template. 7 inches wide, 4 inches tall. To start off with a duct tape wallet, we're going to have to have 4 rows of duct tape front and back. First, we're going to take our first piece, lay it down, sticky side up. Take our second piece, lay it on top of this piece, and leave a little less than a half inch front on it and then we're going to fold over the front so we get a nice looking edge. Flip it over, add the next duct tape piece to sticky side, flip it over, continue this until you have reached your four pieces. Once that is done, fold over the other edge of the duct tape. I'm going to bring back my Dalmatian wallet purse and cut to the size of my wallet. Now when I fold it in half, my front is going to be a little shorter than my back piece, just so it's easier for me to open. Next, credit card holders. It's going to be half the height of the credit card, so I'm going to even out and take off the bottom portion of my duct tape piece. And then just start cutting the same width of the card and make about three of those for my left side. Once I have my credit card pieces, it is time to crease my wallet and start adding them onto the left side. I also have a little strip of duct tape on the side to use when I'm putting them all together. So I'm gonna take my little pieces of duct tape, put two on each side, and then one along the bottom so the credit card will not fall out. Repeat this until you have all of them on the left side. On the right side, I'm going to add two more credit card holders. Simply repeat the steps of the left credit card holders. Now it is time for my ID holder. I'm going to fold over about an inch and a half. This will be taped inside of my wallet. But right now it's a little too long, so I am just measuring to make sure it's going to be sitting properly and clipping off that extra long end on the bottom of the wallet. On the underside of my ID holder, I'm going to add two more credit card holders. I do not have enough. I think this will be my last two credit card holders. So by now you should be a pro at this. Two tapes on the side and a one on the bottom. I have finally reached the ID portion of my wallet. I am using a clear piece from a laminating sheet you can get at Hobby Lobby. Now I am going to be taping the two ends of my clear plastic piece from my ID holder. Do not do this, a very dumb idea. But the two long pieces on the top and the bottom of the clear laminating piece is a very good idea. And the end so the card does not fall out. Now it's time to tape everything. I'm going to tape my ID holder inside the wallet and I'm going to tape together the edges of my wallet. Now when I taped the edges, you can see the credit card no longer fits. So we're just going to be cutting all the way towards the end of the wallet where the credit cards are going to go so they actually do fit. Do this to all of the credit card holders that need it. For the ID holder, yeah, the ends that I taped together, those have to come undone because no card is going to fit in there. 
So open those back up a little bit more. All right, there we go. Looks awesome. And the last portion is these credit card holders, making sure the cards fit into that. Now I think we're all good. One, two, three. ID, four, five, six, seven, eight. Awesome.